In this Cool Tools video, I'm gonna show you three slightly different types of adjustable pliers. I've got Amazon links for all three of these in the video description. For longer than I care to admit, the main pliers in my house were basic pliers with a notch for a bigger or smaller grip. If this still describes where you're at, I'm gonna walk you through some other options and why you may want to pick them up. If you're already a plier pro, feel free to just add your two cents in the comments. After stripping a few bolt heads and needing to work on some household plumbing, I eventually bought these adjustable tongue and groove pliers. They're very common and you can get them for around $15. Opened all the way up, you can adjust the width of the mouth and then when you close it, the two sides lock into one of the grooves on the handle to keep that particular fit. The three things that are great about these, number one, the mouth opens wide enough to adjust plumbing. If you need to tighten a threaded washer on your bathroom sink, these are perfect. Two, the long flat face of the jaws and the incremental adjustment provides a good enough fit for bolt heads and bigger hex nuts. If it's too much trouble to go and find the right wrench, this usually gets the job done without stripping what you're working on. Three, the long handles provide some real leverage that you can work to your advantage. If you're working on something old and rusty and stuck together, these are fantastic. What's not great is that they're too big for smaller projects and the adjustment is a somewhat fiddly two-hand thing that can be a pain if you're working on a lot of different size things. For something a little different, I got these self-adjusting robo-grip pliers. These were around $23 on Amazon, not cheap, but they put my basic pliers out of a job. They're super handy for everyday stuff. The cool thing about these is that as they crunch down on the thing you're grabbing, they'll automatically lock in for a pretty secure grip. So they're easy to use one-handed, they get rid of that fiddly aspect of the tongue and groove pliers, and the size is right in that sweet spot where they can handle big stuff fine but still be useful for small projects too. These also come in a bigger size or with a flat jaw instead of a curved one, but the seven inch curved jaw version here has been good for me. Finally, let's talk about vice grips. Now I am late to the whole vice grip thing. They come in a wide range of sizes and there are some really unique offshoots with special applications. These are a relatively small four inch long nose model recommended by Jamie Windham through a Cool Tools review. Their superpower is that not only can they be adjusted to fit what you're working on, but they'll lock in place when you fully squeeze them down. And once they're locked, if you want a really tight fit, you can tighten the tension screw at the bottom by hand or even with a hex wrench. These for me have replaced my needle nose pliers because how many times have you chewed up the small thing you're trying to grab just in the process of gripping it over and over again? This way you just lock it in once and turn the whole thing. They're also great as a little mini vise, either for gluing up small things or as a third hand for soldering something up. They're great on the end of a cable or rope if you need to tension something up and you want a solid grip. And when you want to release the vise part of these, you just pull apart the handles with a little force. The downside to these is that fiddling with the thumb screw does take some patience nearly every time you use it. Also, unless you cover the ends with a rubber sleeve or gaffer tape, it's gonna bite into material just like a vise would. So that's it, just an overview on some adjustable plier options in case you're ready to branch out from something basic. Of course, there are hundreds I didn't even cover here, so if you have a favorite, be sure to leave a comment. And remember, you can see thousands of reader-recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org.